Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Military. Today we are looking at a German World War II anti-tank rifle grenade. And these this was called the, and it's going to be a German word, so you know it's going to be long, but it's the Gewehr Panzergranate, which I am, know I'm butchering and I really don't care, but in English it means basically just the rifle anti-tank grenade, and it is a shaped charge uh, warhead and we'll kind of go into how it works here uh, so it's a fairly small item itself it was fired from a cup type grenade discharger uh, basically called the shooting cup is what it would uh, translate to in english but the scheiss bear scheiss bearer or something like that close enough I'm really not worried about it uh, these came out in about 1942 and as you can see uh, they would all go together like this but i've just got it apart just to kind of show you the internals of this so this would be your uh, safety spring and your initial firing pin are going to be right here on the base and this would be held in with this plate and you've got your uh, base plate here so this would be fired the uh, really stout spring here would be pulled down allowing this firing pin to go forward which would start your ignition chain which would be in here which would i believe would be uh, petten explosive or petn and that would start your uh, initial uh, detonation chain which would then lead into a tnt filled uh, warhead which is a shaped charge warhead and so the nice thing about these is range really didn't matter. So you could be, I mean, they didn't have that much range. I believe they were like 45 to about 150 yards, maybe 125 yards even. So you had to be fairly close, but uh, this would penetrate up to about 70 millimeters of armor, which was quite formidable at the time. And uh, it could definitely make a make its presence known on the battlefield with most tanks so it's not something that i'd want to be riding around and get hit with one of these or have a rifleman have a few of these uh, it did give the individual soldier quite a nice anti-tank capability um, and of course the shape charge warhead would basically start off go go off and then fire itself into the tank uh, using the shape charge principle which is basically a molten jet of really hot metal going into the tank and actually melting its way through the tank armor um, this would just screw on to this and then this of course just all fits in the base here and screws right on you'll notice this has got some pre-made rifling marks and that would be for the shooting cup that's you'd actually thread this into your shooting cup and then it would hold it securely and give it a little bit of uh, rifling a little bit of spin when you actually fired it using the blank cartridge that you'd fire it just to give it a little bit of stability in flight uh, kind of an interesting round not a whole bunch of these floating around but they do come up every once in a while uh, this one probably was a battlefield pick up sometime after the war ended as you can see most of the markings are gone it does have a few waffen amps on it but nothing uh, nothing too amazing although it does have most all of the internals which is kind of interesting and it does have that german military world war ii smell if you've ever smelled a german world war ii grenade it definitely has a distinctive smell that i've never quite smelled anywhere else uh, i don't know if it's the oil or the explosive or whatever but wow i wouldn't want it as an air freshener, but it's very distinctive. As always, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll be looking at more interesting militaria in the near future. Thanks for watching.